So I just finished my uh, DIY Steadicam as per the Home Depot ladder design, but I wanted to address the gimbal situation. You know, I see a lot of you are using the Traxxas U joint. As you can see, my gimbal is not a Traxxas U joint, and it doesn't move like a Traxxas U joint, but it does, as you can see, move. I was much more interested in getting this done quickly and getting this done without ordering parts off the internet. So I went into my junk drawer. I bought another one to replace it, but I had one of these, which is just a swivel plug. It doesn't matter what the fitting on the other side is, but it's a swivel plug. Um, I just got it at Home Depot. I know I bought this one at Ace. Um, what I did to, to smooth it out a little bit was just put some graphite rub in there. Um, I put as much graphite rub as would fit. I then took a toggle bolt, um, just a skinny toggle bolt. So I ran the toggle bolt through and just, you know, twisted it tight until the toggle locked in. I want to address the two options that you have for the handle. You can use a nut and bolt depending on what you have. If your flashlight loads its batteries through the back with a separate unscrewable cap, then you can just drill a hole through that cap um, as big as your bolt, run it through your swivel plug, then tighten it with a normal nut and bolt and maybe a washer. If you have a situation where this is all plastic and, you, and your light fixture, your lamp, then you're going to want to use the back and you're going to drill a slightly bigger hole that will receive your toggle bolt. You just have this device on the end, screws on here, goes through whatever you want, goes through your hole, closes down, fits in, and then opens back up inside. Then you can tighten it and lock it onto whatever you need to. So in a situation where you have a flashlight where you can't open this back part, you're going to want to drill in to receive this toggle bolt, stick it in, have it open, lock it on with your swivel plug here, obviously. You'll end up with your swivel plug screwed onto here and leave a little bit of room. You don't need to tension it fully and that will give you your, your free range of motion here. You could add like gaffer's tape or some sort of uh, grippy tape to make it function a little bit easier, but when the camera is mounted on here this becomes your pan there we go then i just went back into home depot now um and got this washer that fits around here and it locks into the sliders and get this is just a coupler the nuts i don't know i couldn't find a nut that would fit on this so i just went to the air fitting department and bought the coupler that goes on top of it rather than searching for these crazy universal mounting brackets that this guy found. Um, I just went to the joist hanger department and bought these uh, 90 degree L brackets and drilled my own holes in it. That also means that I didn't need to buy the U-bolt just to get that little plate thing. So I just drilled holes where I needed them to be and put the, the rails in. Um, and then I distanced them based on this. So I can just lock this in and while I do this, I want to want to let you know that um, how I've been using this is I shoot the footage and then I run it through an image stabilization um, a software. So rather than you know getting the, the cleanest, purest, smoothest uh, footage right off the rip, this kind of aids. It's not fully functional vis-a-vis uh, -vis a a Traxxas U joint. Order yourself the Traxxas U joint setup. Um, you know, it's thirty bucks or something like that. This setup is six, and you can do it in under an hour at a hardware store. I had the flashlight kicking around. How cheap is a flashlight? A couple bucks. Um, the IM thing that's two dollars and fifty cents for that swivel plug. Um, the toggle bolt is what ninety five cents, and this fitting you get two of them, and those are two bucks. The washer I don't know fifty cents. So this gimbal, rather than getting the Traxxas U joint and waiting for shipping and all that stuff, just cost me like five or six bucks. So again, it's no better. It's the opposite of better, but it's very quick and you can get off and running with some uh, stabilized footage, which you can then run through a image stabilization software 
and get some pretty perfect shots. Hope I've been of some help. Thank you.